I'm Matthew Vescio, and I'm a student at Green Prep. And this poem is called, is titled Childhood. I was a young lad, sitting on my chair in the early morning hours. I was dragged into the computer adventures of a talking purple car named Putt-Putt. He was on the computer screen before me. And it was here, at this time and place, that my dad asked for my presence. He, he was down on uh, one floor in the family room watching television. He wanted to show me something. So, I look, so when I looked at the screen, my curiosity grew up inside of a strange being. As far as I could tell, it was a giant monster standing over a prairie, claiming victory over an opponent. There was a few minutes left until the movie ended, and, and then one followed afterwards. It was there, again, the giant monster. And he was taking on two monster opponents whilst teaming up with another. I was sitting there for the next hour until my parents forced me to stop, for the Sunday service was minutes from starting. That giant monster never left my mind. Yeah, I, was not, I was not filled with fear, but rather wonder and awe. Years passed as I rented its movies, bought its toys, and gathered with its followers in Chicago. My classmates had Pokemon, as well as Batman and Superman. But I had the giant monster. This giant monster was Godzilla. He brought me into the world of monster movies, formed from the minds of John Carpenter and Ray Harryhausen. It was here that I branched into, out into science fiction, where Steven Spielberg and George Lucas became an inspiration for me. Today, I will step into any conversation having to do with movies. You can say that my passion for film started with Godzilla. He is still with me to this day, whether on my mind or my shelves. teaching me more and more. It is silly to say something fictional is real, but when a fictional thing has an influence on one's life, does that not give it a sense of having a real connection? He defines my childhood, and a childhood like that is something special, as well as something that is hard to forget. <laughs>